Good morning. Monday morning, and we're starting another week. A little stiff and sore this week. It was a decent run and a decent weekend. So, you know, just taking it easy to recover. Sweating buckets though today. Don't know what that's about. Probably going a bit too hard. Probably need to ease it off just a touch. Anyway, nice easy run to and from work today. Okay, well, that's me done. 5.77 at 5.13s. Oh, that was hard. There are some days where the legs just don't want to tick over, and today was one of them. Anyway, Monday in the books. Coaching tomorrow morning, and then uh, hopefully 45 minutes easy at some stage tomorrow afternoon. Let's get it done. Wednesday got me good in terms of routines and getting myself out the door. So a combination of factors. First one, I was working off site that day, so I couldn't do my normal commute to work and then work out on the way home. Um, I had to get up early, run early, then drive to where I was working. The second factor was the fact that it was mailman's birthday. So in the afternoon, instead of being able to come home and go for a run straight away, I went out to see dad, spend some time with him, celebrate his birthday with the kids. That combination of factors meant easy run in the morning, well before work, and then not getting out for a workout until 7.30 at night, which I do try to avoid. And I know I talked in the last week's video about avoiding that sort of thing, but this workout was only gonna be an hour long, so I knew I could get it done, and I could be home by about 8.30. I knew it was gonna have a negative impact on sleep, but it wasn't gonna be as big a negative impact as the two hour workout the previous week. Because it was so late and because of what was going on, I just decided to do a plain and simple, something that was easy, mindless, and um, would have a good, as a bit of a staple workout, and have a good impact. So I did six by K. I I got impatient and didn't do the warm up strides. So I'm like, oh, it's 7.30 at night, it's, it's, it's getting close to eight o'clock, I've just gotta get it done. So first K reps, average, well, I'll put them on screen, but the first K rep's pretty average and then they get better. That's just the difference between when you do strides in a work, in a warm up and you don't. You don't do strides and your warm up is not as rigorous as it should be, then your first rep's gonna suffer. You're then having to work into the workout. You're not ready to go. Anyway, they got better and they were close to 340 paces I went along. So that felt pretty good. And it was pretty, it gave me a lot of confidence. It's a little bit frustrating. I should be at 340 pace easily as my 5k pace is significantly lower than that. But I think uh, morning runs are hurting my workouts. So this and the lack of the ability to get into a routine with doing that workout on a Wednesday means I need to change something. Don't quite know what it's gonna look like yet, but something needs to change. Good evening. Thursday evening. And we're out for 45 minutes easy. Exciting run tonight. As you can see, running along next to a busy road because I don't pick up a special package. I'm excited for this one. Well, that's the run done. This wasn't about uh, hitting the run though. The run was just under 6.7 at 5.22s, but why I was excited, new shoe day. I had to go and pick up a pair of new shoes somebody had ordered for me. So uh, yeah, let's go in and check them out. Friday morning, marathon workout day. Two and a half k's into the warm up, and I'm still intimidated by this workout. That's the beauty of these marathon workouts. They're very, very intimidating on paper. They're good once you're in them, and once you've done them, and you feel fantastic, and they're not that hard, but do they develop some fitness? Anyway, today, seven by 2K with, I think, 90 seconds slow jog recovery. So the 2Ks are gonna be at 4.15s to 4.20s, and I've really gotta lock in and find that pace today. I'm hoping what I can do is lock in and find a pace that feels really good, really comfortable at around that 4.18 to 4.20 mark. That'd be real positive if I can walk away from today's workout with something along those lines. That's what I'm chasing. I'm chasing that feeling. Right, let's get into it. Seven by 2K done, one hour, 41 minutes, 4.44 average, 21.38 Ks in total. But the really interesting part is the laps. So 4.17, 
414, 415, 416, 431 going over the hill, 478, 478. Did have to pull myself back a bit in there. Um, but yeah, just found when I was working by the end of it. So yeah, do need to do need to bring that back and figure out where that pace is around 419s, 420s. We'll keep working. Now it's time to recover. Good morning. Saturday morning, park run done and dusted for the day. I was run director today, so no jog. So post park run, we're getting out. We're gonna go for about 45 minutes, I reckon. Um, that'll be about eight k's. And yeah, should be primed, ready to go for tomorrow's long run. Eight k's recovery, nice and easy. Just so the legs are feeling fresh. Bit of tightness, bit of soreness around, but nothing unusual after yesterday's session, which is good signs. Really good signs. I was worried about the groin in yesterday's session, that's been a bit sore lately, but I seem to have pulled back up okay from that, which is reassuring. The niggle's there, I just gotta work through it, do the exercises, get it done. Up. Seven cars of recovery to go. Time to enjoy. Good afternoon. Sunday afternoon and it's long run time. Didn't make it out this morning because had a bunch of things on and it was just going to be way too early off no sleep. So I made the uh, decision that I'm regretting right now to go after roast lunch with the family. So roast lamb, chocolate pudding and hummingbird cake into a long run. Oh boy is that feeling good. We're going to see how it goes. Three k's in, let's get it done. K's in, about 50 minutes, and I tell you what, I am over that road. I'm in a nice little patch where I'm about 50 metres away from it right now, about to rejoin. Man, this is a terrible place to run. <sighs> Alright, 10 k's in, about 18 to go. Woo! Right leg, very tight. Calf, knee. Achilles, all of that. So we'll keep an eye on that. But as I said, 18 k's to go. Oh, 18 k's in. Really battling now. Just stop for a quick break, take a seat for a moment. The, uh, the right leg just feels like it's got no power in it. No movement whatsoever. So there'll be a fair bit of massage when I get home on that. Anyway, about 10 k's to go. Running at time, so I won't quite make it to 10 k's, but oh, we'll get there. Oh, we're gonna have to. 10 k's from home. I haven't really got a choice. <sighs> Keep on jogging. Well, that's the week done. <sighs> Sunday long run. 27.24. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was disappointed. I was hoping to hit 28 k's this week. I didn't quite. Didn't quite make it as far as I wanted to. I just couldn't hold the pace. The legs just had nothing in them. Anyway, 
It is to be expected. We can't expect linear progression, and I know that. But yeah, right now, I wish I got it. Anyway, that's Sunday done. Time to recover. Well, I'm gonna be happy with 93 k's for the week. It's been a quick build back up since Cairns half, only a couple of weeks ago. Strava graph, you can see there's a pretty strong ramp up there to 93 k's. I know what's coming, and that's a bit of a blessing and a bit of a curse. I, I'm, I'm anxious to get it done, and I'm anxious to, to do the next bit because I, I know how important each of the next steps are. I'm, I'm also, at the same time as being anxious to, to get it done and get in and, and get something happening, I'm, I'm also intimidated by the magnitude of what's about to come because I know the long runs are gonna get big, I'm gonna get tired, the workouts are gonna get big, I'm gonna get even more tired, and I've gotta try and fit everything in. I've taken on more than I had on last year when I tried to train for this marathon. So, yeah, I, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm grinding already, and that's never a good thing when I'm like six weeks, well, no, I'm more than that, I'm like eight weeks away from a marathon. So. I've got six weeks of grinding left, and that's that's not a good thing. But I know I can do this. I know if I frame it well, and if I know I get my routines right, I know I can do this. Sydney, here I come. Anyway, that's my week. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, any comments, any thoughts you'd like to share, let me know down below. I'd love to have a chat. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.